Oh, hello, and welcome to Terrific Tuesday. Now, what Terrific Tuesday is, is this little spotlight feature thing where we're just going to be playing something fun. And it doesn't necessarily pertain to any particular series or a continuation of a previous week's feature. It's just going to be some fun. We're just going to be jumping into a game, playing about with it, and having a thrilling time, or at least trying to. In this particular one today, we're going to be jumping into the good old Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. Now, I, I have played Microsoft Flight Simulator for a long time, since I was little. started with Flight Simulator 2004, and then I was using FSX for an incredibly long amount of time. Yes, we hear the creature, hi. And now I'm in, in a MSFS 2020 that I, I got quite, quite a bit back. But we do use a few add-ons, and the ones featured in this video are FS Realistic and FS HUD for air traffic control. And there's a checklist in this uh, episode, which I use these checklists every time I start up my planes to make sure I actually do it in a, in a decent manner. And those are all done on YouTube by Jonathan Beckett. And you can go ahead and find his YouTube link down in the video description. And you can get your hands on all these fantastic startup checklists that make your life a whole lot easier. So shout out to him for creating these fantastic uh, operatable lists to get you up in the air and flying as fast as possible in somewhat the, the correct procedural manners. So let's go ahead and jump in and smack it down. Oh, we are indeed in it, aren't we? Well, we're on the menu for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. That's a bloody good start to begin with. Uh, we're going to be going to the world map here, and it's really exciting indeed. I mean, look at that. It's beautiful. The Earth. See, it's round. The Earth is round. Doesn't look too flat to me. All these flat Earth people going on about the Earth being flat. It's bloody round. Look at it. Well, well some people are just special. Now, if we go down here and we zoom in, we get this absolutely lovely scenery that I purchased from uh, the, uh, the marketplace. For Toronto City Centre Airport, at the Island Airport, it is marvelous scenery. It's really beautiful. So I'm going to go ahead and pick an aircraft here, and we're going to be doing just a little tour flying around the Greater Toronto Area. I've also got the uh, the Fly Tampa scenery for Toronto Pearson as well. And, oh god, what is the name of the one for Toronto City Centre? You know, I can't remember who the scenery is by. Is it Epsom Studios? Uh, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I will check and then I'll get the plane. Alright, here we are. This is the plane that we're going to be using. It is a Douglas DC-3 Classic of CP Air. Now, if you don't know what CP Air is, that's Canadian Pacific Airlines. It was quite a, uh, a, a notable Canadian airline back in the day. Way back in, of course, the, the age of the golden age of air travel. CP Air no longer exists, sadly. They had a fantastic color scheme. Uh, absolutely wonderful. But... What we're going to be doing now is we're going to be selecting our spot down here in Toronto City Center. And I like starting way over here at ramp number seven. So we're going to set that as our departure spot. So it looks like the big runway is the one in use. Thank God. Flight conditions. We are going to do live weather. How beautiful it is. January the 16th, 2.29 p.m. And a saucy day in the city. There it is, the inner harbor. Let's not <laughs> put the plane into the inner harbor. That wouldn't be too good now, would it? Right, so we are going to be coming back in to Toronto. So hold on. If I can type here. There we go. There we go. We're just going to be flying around the city and then coming back to the airport to land on the runway we took off on. But there we go. That's what we're going to be doing today. Just a little bit of fun. We're doing VFR, some visual flight. And we'll go ahead and we will fly. 
So here we are, spawned into the cockpit of our beautiful DC-3, sitting on the ground here at Toronto City Centre. Now I have got a couple add-ons that we're using in this. We've got FS Realistic, which, you know, as the name suggests, adds a, a little extra hint of realism in terms of how the aircraft handles and the wind and the turbulence and when you're landing, you know, the landing rate, you can feel it, you can see the screen shake, that type of thing. It's nice and fun. We've also got FS HUD for air traffic control. I cannot stand the default air traffic control in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Absolutely horrific, I don't know. It, it really terrifies me, it does. But we can see in here, in this wonderful default DC-3, it is absolutely fantastic. I mean, the detail on it is it's pretty great, especially for these old-timey planes. I love these older aircraft. It's, it's really nice. I think they did a terrific job with it here. And as we can see, moving through the plane, they've gotten all sorts of stuff over here. I mean, what even are these things? Do not make adjustments when the transmitter... What's that? Transmitter will one. High voltage supply is on. High voltage supply. Well, isn't that saucy? So what happens if we keep going through here? Are we allowed to get into the plane? I don't know. I guess we're going to have to... Uh, <laughs> ah, there we go. No, 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 no. That puts us into the cabin. There we are. See, look at that. That's nice. That is a really nice cabin. Very pretty plane. Very, very nice. So go back over to the cockpit view here. We're going to get things started up. And we're going to use our checklist. We Yes. Alrighty, so... We've got to go up. Oh dear, where are the uh, things for here? There we go. I guess, yeah, that'll do. What we want to do here, we, we want to turn on the ground power and the battery. So put the battery on and the ground power on. All right. And over here, see the airplane is starting to come alive. Isn't that cute? Yes, on the cockpit right side here, we've got these little thingies. These are the cowl flaps. And we want to rotate both the cylinders clockwise to open. See, there we go. See, the, the open matches up with the arrow. It's very good geometry, yes. And we want the lights as required. So, the position light to on. Yes. And then, we want to get things started up here. Now, isn't that exciting? Ah, oh, sorry about that. I had a little phone call I had to attend to there. But the next step down here in the center pedestal, we want the left fuel selector to go to left main. So we want to make sure this is spun around to there. And then over on the other side, we want the same thing. This one should be on right main. So we want to spin. Can you, can you please spin? Thank you. That wasn't it. Oh. Boy, come on, get this thing out of the way. The, the, there. There. <laughs> Boy. You were all the way up there. Yes. Alright, the propeller levers go to full forward, which they are. They seem to already be set up in that position. And the throttle levers cracked open. So, we want to use our thrust master throttle quadrant over here and I will open up the throttles a crack there. That should be enough, I think. Alright, and then we want to take uh, our taxi next. So we'll want to get the engines all started up and all that. So we'll go ahead and bring up our FS HUD ATC. Exciting. Please bear with me here. Yes. Huzzah, we're here. Select flight. We're going to need to make a little one here. We got CYTZ. Now, I believe it's runway 26 that we're going to be using today. Yes. And then... Drag 2. CYTZ. <laughs> Again. 
there we go just all the way back around there we go let's start that there we go this way we can at least get the ATC in Billy Bishop Toronto City Ground Empress 3 parking 7 request clearance to Billy Bishop Toronto City with information tango isn't that Empress nice? 3, clear to Billy Bishop Toronto City via Tebard 2, departure, runway 26, initial climb 7000, then as filed, squawk 0353. Cute. Cleared to Billy Bishop Toronto City via Tebard 2, departure, runway 26, initial climb 7000, then as filed, squawk 0353, Empress 3. Empress is the Empress call 3, sign. Empress 3, back correct, report when ready. The, the call the sign of ready, uh, Empress 3. Canadian Pacific Airlines. Alright, so that's how FS HUD sounds. Marvelous. I think that looks fantastic, doesn't it? Alright, so now we come outside and have a little peek -sees. There's our plane, our wonderful DC-3. And there's Toronto. The beautiful CN Tower and, and the Sky Dome right over there. Isn't that wonderful? And we got all these Porter planes all parked here as static scenery they are indeed so it's a very nice scenery it's it's quite accurate for the island airport and look at that nice shiny plane of ours that's wonderful alrighty let's go back inside I must start getting things ready so what do we want to do now we want to start the engines up and basically get out of here Alright, so over here, the overhead panel, that's these wonderful things over here. We want to get the master ignition pushed in, so that's, that's that thing there. Okay, that, that was weird. I was having a recording malfunction. So we need to make sure that the master ignition is pushed in. There we go, isn't that cute? And we want the Energize to center, which it is, and the booster pumps to on. Uh, where are they? They're over here. So let's put the booster pumps to on. And we want the Energize then to go to the right. So that's the down one. And wait a few seconds. And then we want the mesh to on. There it is. And then we want the right magnetos to both. So then we move that there. And we can see our engine now starting to spin around. Oh, duh. I need the bloody primer. The primer to on. God, I'm a stupid fish, aren't I? That started up the bloody engine. Ugh, dodo bird. Absolute piss pot. All right. Well, now we'll go ahead and do the other one. So, Energize goes to left now. Isn't that cute? Yes. And Mesh to on. And the left Magnetos to both. Come on. And we want the left Primer on. There it goes. That's got us going now. Our plane is not dysfunctional anymore. Oh boy. Alright. Silly piss. Absolutely silly piss, isn't it? Right, Dio. Yes, we want to make sure our tail wheel lever, which is way down here, is pulled out so that our tail wheel can move and it is the radio the radio's on we're going to bull, bull about with that poo okay let's go the booster pumps need to go on according to this thing it's absolutely hilarious we got to set our flaps our big giant flaps let's use our lever over here shall we how much flap we need really
So we don't really need much flap, I would imagine. But we get it anyway with this plane. Alright. So we can go ahead and taxi. Begin our taxi. Clearance, please. Input 3, request taxi. Input 3, taxi to holding point runway 26 via Delta. Taxi to holding yep. point runway 26 via Delta. Empress 3. Very saucy. Alrighty. So, we got a. We don't have a. Uh, I don't need it to be on. We don't have the. Pooh, what's it called? Fuck me. Um. Ah, taxi light. We don't have a taxi light. I guess we don't need it in this type of aircraft. Anyway, over there, that's where we need to go. So, let's, uh, let's disconnect the ground power. So we can, uh, we can get going. Right. Alright, disconnect the parking brake. Let's go in here. You can hear it come off there. And we'll start adding in a bit of power. At least. Thought they disconnected the parking brake. Not quite sure what's going on here. The plane will not go. Oh wow, that needs quite a bit of power, doesn't it? <gasps> Alright. We have learned. <laughs> the plane needs a bit of juice to get going, then. I said juice. Don't come for me. Okay, um... Plane... You, you start off not moving, and then we give you the power, and then you start... zipping all over the place, I don't know. Alright. At least it's a short taxi, anyway. Don't need to go too far. But we're gonna have a spectacular view of the city over here, to our left. It's going to be brilliant. Let's have a peek. Alright, bring the power back a little. Let's see how the- ah, there it is. There's the city. This is what I love about Microsoft Flight Simulator, it's- oh! Oh God. no! <laughs> It's running off the taxiway. No, it's a. Uh, it's very pretty. Contact city tower one one eight decimal two. Right. One one eight decimal here. two. Empress three. I'm going to need to use brake. Oh, hello. Okay. <laughs> Let's bring the engine back to idle then. Are we all ready for the takeoff? Righty. Ready for departure. City Tower, Empress 3, runway 26, ready for departure. Empress 3, wind 280 degrees at 16 knots, runway 26, cleared for takeoff. I'm having tea. It's very runway British, 26, I know. Cleared for takeoff, Empress 3. Saucy, let's go. Right, let's put on the lights. Oh, there they go. Yeah. Get them on. Get T.O. Down we go. Now, the trick for taking off with this fish is you come down here and you put the tail wheel lock on so you don't go drifting about the runway and you just use your rudder to steer. Right. Let's do it. Let's give it a go. And we advance the power. And what we want to do with this plane is allow the tail to come up. Okay, there we go. We're starting to get some power. Advance the throttles. There we go. Very nice. And we want to put some left in. Left in. 
left, left, left. Not that much left. It's a spinner. It is a spinner. Okay. We and we can go ahead and pull up. And angle forwards to get some good lift. And I think we can bring our flaps up. We don't need them. Beautiful. All right. Want to go do some touring of the city? I think that would be lovely. One three three decimal four Empress three. Let's go have a look at it. Toronto departure, Empress 3, Teva 2, departure at 600, climbing 7,000. 2644, contact to Teva 132, Empress 3, radar contact. Ah yes, then we want to set the cowl flaps to trail. There we go. Proceed direct echo Mike Delta Oscar Sierra, continue climb 7,000, Empress 3. And we want the booster pumps to off. And the mixture set to auto lean. After we get up there. But we're not going to do that for this one. There we are. There's Toronto. Very iconic, isn't it? See, it's wonderful to just fly around in this in this game. It's very beautiful. Let's go take a look, sees, at the CN Tower. That's what we're up here for, isn't it? Let's go buzz him. Give him an absolute heart attack. Oh, here it comes. Oh, oh boy. There's Roger Center. Hello, tourists. Hello. Whee. Everybody has absolutely crapped themselves. But we're just having a grand old time flying along. Alright, let's circle over the airport. Have a look-see at how things are going down there. Very nice. Ah, there we go. There's the airport. That's where we were parked, right down there, directly below us. Wonderful. There's the island, the, the city islands. Got Center Island there, and there's children's amusement park attractions. It's really really something interesting, isn't it? So let's loop around the island and come in for a little approach, shall we? Very pretty. Very pretty indeed. There we go. Let's fly around the island for our approach. I think that's, that's nice. course, this is giving us the best possible speed by having our cowl flaps at trail. Look at that. Alright, since we're going to come in for approach, we're going to need to set our cowl flaps back to open, I am afraid. There you go. That's going to bring our, our speed back a bit. Oh, that's nice. Look at that. That's a view. Alright, let's... Let's start maneuvering ourselves around here. Get ourselves ready for our little approach. Of course, our speed is rather fast, so we'll pull it back a bit. Pull back the knots. Because it just gives you knots in your stomach, doesn't it? 
That is beautiful. We <laughs> nice little descent there, isn't it? Let's get our flaps back a bit. Should help with our our speed maintenance. We're gonna go ahead and drop the throttles back a bit again. So I love flying these old vintage planes. And look how nice that is. That's that's wonderful. That really is. I guess we should re get request for landing, shouldn't we? Uh, Toronto approach, yes. yes. Cancel flight. We'll just go ahead and cancel it. Just easier. There's the marina. There's Ashbridge's Bay. I believe around there somewhere there. Alright, here we come. We're coming round. CN Towers in sight. Marvelous. There's the runway over there. Those little blinky lights. Beautiful. Yes. Oh, yeah, there's... There's a nice view. Back in the old days, eh? Nice little DC-3. Let's bring the throttles back again a bit. We don't want to get too low, of course. We want to maintain a healthy 100, I think, for, for right now, over the water. There we go, now we're starting to come round. There we go. We Beautiful stuff. There's our runway. Start to level ourselves. Props a bit more flat. And some engine retardation. Here we are. Coming in. We're going to try and line ourselves up a little bit better here. Who are they? I guess the glide slope says we're a little low. But that's all right. We can put the flap up, up, up a little bit. We're actually doing all right. We're not doing terrible. Oh, that's nice. All right. There's the runway. And we want to increase the speed a little bit. There we go. There we go. And we want some more flap. And now we can pull the speed back. As I said, I'm not fantastic. Put the flaps full. And we can pull the throttle back. Alrighty. I don't think these engines even have reversers, so... Let's try and get her down here. There we go. Spinny, spinny, spinny. I have not yet been able to master a landing on a DC-3, this tail. Okay, come on, stop the plane. There we go. Is our tail wheel lock off? It is now. <laughs> Alrighty. There we go. I don't think we actually have reversers on these engines, but let's give her some power now so that we can get off the runway. Retract our flaps. By all means, criticize me in the comments for how horrific that approach was. We were rather high, I do know that. We got a little high, but... Any landing that you land and walk away from is a good landing, right? We had some bounces, but we didn't die. It's the tail draggers. I'm, I'm not very good at flying a tail dragger. 
the landing would have been a lot better if I'd flown a plane with a nose wheel. I, I don't know, the responsiveness is so, I don't know, very sensitive, I suppose. But here we go, we can taxi around here. I've really got to move my throttles around for this. So, oh, wow, see, there we go. We, that is a lot of movement. And we're definitely not on the taxi line. Why would I be? <laughs> and I think we'll just likely go park back up where we were. There we go. To get a nice view of the Toronto Island Airport scenery with this. It's quite nice. Throttle it back here. Hey, they got the orange air ambulance over there on the tarmac. Oh, and look in there. There's an Air Canada Express. And of course, the classic porter at the terminal. But we'll cut the engines back and we'll come to a stop here. There we go. Parking brake on. And that's us back. So that's been uh, a saucy little Tuesday adventure. And I, I don't know if you've enjoyed the flight simulator stuff, but I like playing around with it. So hopefully you get some enjoyment out of it as well. Uh, see you next time. Please do subscribe, leave a like, and comment. It would be greatly appreciated. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the plane here. Just shut it all down there. There we go. The master ignition off. The magnetos off and all that. Clear. There we go. And turn the pitot heat off. Landing lights can come off. I'll turn the battery off and the beacon lights off and all that. All the goodies. Everything is now as it was. Wonderful. And we'll enable cold and dark start. There we are. Thank you for flying CP Air. I'm sure you have absolutely tossed your lunch. And I am I'm very happy to be the provider of that uplifting experience. Italio.